Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a full review with swatches and three different looks using the new fall palette from ColourPop. This is the Good Sport palette. Now, I'm gonna admit real quick, I kept the... <laughs> Whenever I see the title of this palette, I keep thinking, like, Old Sport, like, Gatsby. I don't, don't know why. I keep calling it the Old Sport palette. It's not. It's the Good Sport palette. <laughs> and this is what it looks like right here. I've been testing this out for a couple weeks now and I've used every shade in this palette and I have to go ahead and say I am beyond impressed. This is the most impressed I've been with a ColourPop palette since the Yes Please palette. And I recommended the Yes Please palette like over a Natasha Denona palette. Yeah. I can wax poetic about this palette for quite a bit, but I really think it's better if you just see the way that it performs on its own. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. Something about you starts chemical So those were all of the swatches of this palette. I have to say, the two that really jump out to me are these two shimmers, Rookie, which is that copper right up here with those blue flecks in it, and then Ebb, which is just beautiful green. I have a large eyeshadow palette collection. I don't have either of these shades in any palette, in any single. Those... I mean, if I just had, like, those two, I'd be hella impressed, but combined with the rest of these mattes... This is such a great palette. And just also, let's talk about the layout of the shades. I have to say, the layout is actually very intuitive, very creative, and I love it. Normally, even my Yes Please palette, I pop the shades out and I rearrange them because I don't like the way they set them up. I left these the way that they were because A, they've got the shade names on there, which I think is nice, but I, there was another palette that had shade names on it that I did rearrange, but I just... I get really inspired every single time I look at this palette. And especially nowadays, that's really not always the case. Most of the time, like, looks don't jump out at me the way that they do with this palette. So for the other two looks, I'm currently wearing look number three using like the pink and the purple shades in here along with like that lightest shimmer shade right over here. I also did a look with kind of the warm neutrals right here in the middle along with that beautiful rookie shade and then I did a look focusing more on the green shades. So let's go ahead and jump into all three looks. <laughs> show you 
Cross the ocean to your land Settle down upon the sea Lie beneath the tree Don't wanna miss our second chance Let me cross the ocean blue Settle down right next to you Lie beneath the palm tree don't wanna miss our second chance Second chance Second chance Second chance When the sun is shining
Okay, so now you've seen the looks, you've seen the swatches. My final thoughts. I think this is one of the best things ColourPop has come out with in the past year, if not longer. This is such a beautiful palette. The shades just jump out at you. It's fall. This is a perfect fall release. And it really upsets me that this flew under the radar. Like I had no idea this was coming out until like release day. They were like, surprise, fall collection. And then they immediately moved on to talk about whatever Disney collab that they had, which great, they collabed with Disney, but that was a boring as hell collection. Whereas I think this palette was overlooked by a lot of people. It's incredibly affordable. The mattes just blend out like a dream. The only shade that I had issues with was Flow, this darkest purple right here, and I'm wearing it today. All I had to do was pack it on a little bit and then blend it out. The rest of the shades had crazy pigmentation, like as soon as I put them on. There is fallout with this palette, but that's like the only downside. <laughs> like I can either brush it away and it doesn't stain. I've had fallout stain and I would let you know if it stained. This didn't stain. So either do your eyes first or just make sure you put some translucent powder down just to catch the fallout. I'm just very sad that such like a perfect fall release was just kind of glossed over. And I'm gonna be really upset. I'm 90% sure this is limited edition. It shouldn't be. This should be a permanent palette. Cause I was gonna say, I'm gonna be really upset if a palette that I actually love fully endorse like finally from ColourPop since the Yes Please palette is limited edition and then no one ever talks about it. I'll be so sad. So those are all of my thoughts on the Good Sport palette from ColourPop. I was so surprised. Like it really, really shocked me how much I love this palette. If it's still available, I will link it down below. Please check it out. I highly recommend it. I haven't recommended a palette from ColourPop this highly since the Yes Please palette. So please check it out. <laughs> let, if you already have it, let me know how you like it down below. Let me know how you liked these looks. And if you're feeling fall, I love like the fall kind of like checkered colors. I've got my black. I've got, I'm currently wearing one of the new Fenty lipsticks. I'm wearing the lipstick in Uncuffed. It's like that movie cover, cover. It's like that movie color I was super excited about, and I love it. Love it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, wait. Before we go, I need to show off my nails real quick. Look how pretty they are. I bought them at CVS, and I just glued them on because they're just like... Because I can't keep nails on to save my life. But look how pretty. I feel so sophisticated wearing these. <laughs> and I had to show them off to someone. Because I know by the end of today I'll probably break at least one of them. <laughs> okay. Bye.